Welcome to Deep Thought. Sex and commercialism. And you know what? I know a lot of times people don't like talking about sex, particularly in the context of a relationship. They avoid it even though uh, sex is a part of um, all relationships, even if the couple is a sexless marriage or, you know, whatever reason they don't have sex, that's still an issue there. But, you know, I'm not even talking about it today or thinking about it today in the terms of uh, relating to another person. Because it's such an integral part of our beings, understand something, every single human being was created through sex. Every single, there, was, there, there are no divine creatures or humans on the planet they just popped up showed up at least as far as i know this is deep thought channel i don't know maybe somebody just popped down out of the spirit world i don't know but let's just say it's safe to say every single human being on the planet came to this planet through sex they originate their being so that's at the core of our beings now of course we got situations with different cultures and you know, religions and whatever countries try to repress that sexual energy, but it's still a part of us. Now, because it's a part of us, it influences us on a subconscious basis. And this is something realized by those in real power. So realizing that sexual impulse is there regardless of what the culture is, they, the power elite, the sinister, whatever you want, Illuminati, Big Rom and his boys. I mean, whatever you want to call those folks. They say, wait a minute. This is such a big part of who people are. We can use this to sell. I give you, I give you a prime example. Movies. Movies. Now, you notice that the people considered movie stars. You know, great actors also also considered sexually attractive. See, somebody noticed that. They noticed that uh, in the 30s. It's like, hey, if you got a handsome, very handsome man or a very physically attractive woman, people are just going to come see the movie. And in fact, I would even say because of that dynamic, despite what people think, the best actors and actresses are never the most sexually appealing. They call character actors, yet they the best. And yet you get some people, men and women, who are physically attractive, uh, you know, considered sexually attractive. They really play the same role in every movie they're in. But the reason why people see those movies is because of the sex appeal. They move by the sex appeal. I give an example of a recent movie uh, came out a couple years ago. Um, well, roughly a year ago, Aquaman. Aquaman. It was found that many women went to see Aquaman. Now understand, Aquaman is not a major character. Aquaman, shoot, even in the comic books, he, he's normally a minor character. Yet women were going crazy. Women were going crazy. Well, you know, you had. Uh, a uh, man considered sexually uh, appealing to women in the movie. And they were probably like, oh, we don't even know what Aquaman is. Is he going to fly? <laughs> oh, I don't care. He looks good. <laughs> but they make money for it. And that's just one way. If you think about sex, sex is used to sell everything from toothpaste to outdoor grills. You know, sex is used like you got restaurants. They call them restaurants. Because they'll, they'll hire sexually provocative women, and guys will go there just for it. I remember I knew a guy, he would always say, let's go to Hooters, let's go to Hooters. And I'm like, is, is that burgers good? He said, I don't know. But the women are friendly. I guess so, they, they pay to it. It's like, shoot. And in fact, I've even seen local restaurants, they're not necessarily at Hooters, but you know, I started looking at uh, the waitresses, it's like, yeah, you know. They all got the same body build. Ain't that interesting? They all got a body build that could be considered sexy. <laughs> you know, I started thinking about it. I looked at some places. I was like, damn. They all got nice asses. <laughs> it's like, who the hell was hiring them? It is funny. Every time I see Ben in a restaurant like that, 
and it could be like part of a national chain. Every single time when I see the overall manager, it's always a male. <laughs> so it's a male. But these same places get women, I mean, men in there like crazy. And uh, some people even like have come up with places like that to cater more to women. You know, instead of some women running around with their breasts out and tight shorts, they got some men running around with their muscles popping and everything. You know, but that's to sell. That's the commercial thing. And in fact, I didn't mention this before. I haven't seen them this year. I guess they started gave up at my local mall. But there was always a, a, well, they had some other malls. I think I did see them at some other malls. Would it be uh, with some people? They're primarily from Israel. Because I, I would talk to them. And the women, they, they would come in and be extremely friendly to guys. It was something. Be flirty and everything. I call them hustlers, but they'd be all like, oh, you're so cute. I was like, yeah, I still ain't buying your stuff. And then, you know, just so the women, the, the women customers didn't feel bad. They had some guys who would specifically flirt with them. But that was considered to the sex thing. Okay, you, you hit them on that sexual level, and they're most likely to buy stuff. Because it is a subconscious thing. And in fact, I said before, I did something on my men's channel about a uh, master salesman being select. And I read a passage from Napoleon Hill's um, Think and Grow Rich, where he talked about a gentleman who trained salesmen would look for that sexual magnetism. And, you know, and it, it, it happens on so many levels. Yeah, you can get the individuals, but then if you look at advertising... There's a lot of sexual images in advertising when they're trying to advertise a certain something. They're trying to, and it could be anything. Like I said, literally from toothpaste to outdoor grills. Shoot, uh, motor vehicles. Like something I noticed, uh, I remember, uh, like one, the fun thing I would do <laughs> was actually go in books. If I was working near a bookstore, I always went in the bookstore lunchtime without failure. And, you know, that's my fun thing to do. And I would look at magazines, and now I'm not a big car person who would look at something for the engines and stuff. As long as it rolls and can drive, I'm good. I'm the end user with a car, so I don't care about the other stuff. But I saw, I remember, I'd never forget, I saw a magazine. It had this real fine woman on there, like fine and gorgeous. I was like, wow. So I picked up the magazine, and she wasn't in it. And then I picked up some other magazines with women on the cover. They weren't in it. But why they do that? A man sees that he slight he becomes slightly aroused. Now, when he's aroused, he'll pick up the book, he'll pick up the magazine, and he may or may not see something in there. But being slightly aroused, he becomes more amenable. Like when if you if someone's slightly aroused, when you're trying to sell them something, there's a strong likelihood that they'll buy it. And see, that's what people in power have figured out. That's that's part of advertising. That's part of marketing. You know, that's part of uh, modeling. When they're modeling clothes and stuff, if you think about it, what they really selling? Are they selling those clothes? Most of the times people don't wear the clothes. they selling the sex appeal of it. You know, the clothes that the women are wearing, they give them the imp they try to give women the impression that if these women wear similar clothes, they can draw attention to them. They can be attractive or they wear a certain hair or something. Don't work as well with men, so it's a little different. But it can sometimes speak to the man. If a man thinks, oh, well, if I get this type of clothing or do this, then, you know, I can draw those women just like this guy can. That's the image. When you watch commercials, when you watch that, it's, it's a show. It's so many subtle things. But all of those subtle things tend to be around sex. Now, I know some people don't think that's the case. But, see, that's, that's the beauty of it. It's subconscious. It's hitting you because it's at a, such a deep level. Is at a, such a deep level. I've even picked up on some of that in certain, uh, like, I, like I say, you see it in restaurants. I've seen that in grocery stores. If you go in a grocery store, and as a man, most of the women, you know, are looking good, you're going to tend to want to go there more. And the same thing with women. If all the guys are like, you know, muscular or whatever, you want to tend to go. But it's such a subtle thing. It's so connected. It's a deep thing. It's a deep thing. And there's a lot of people who buy something because of that. Uh, I remember my Israeli hustler friends. Shoot. 
they were good with it. I used to call them hustlers and everything. And trust me, it was hard to re- I ain't going to lie. It's hard to resist. You had some sexually appealing women looking at you and trying to get you to buy something which you know you don't need. You know, it was tough. I'm, I'm consciously aware of it. It was tough. So I've seen, I've sat back and watched situations where they will walk some, like, poor young man to the ATM to get his money. <laughs> it's powerful. It's powerful. And, you know, it's, you know, that's another question, whether it's good or bad. Um, There's really not good or evil in the world. Everything's a matter of perspective. A fox in a hen house is good for the fox, but evil for the hen. And if she can prevent it, it's good for her, but bad for the fox, evil to the fox. So anyway, I want you to think about that. And that's just on a basic level. And like I say, a lot of it, all of it's subliminal. Subliminal, subconscious, a lot of people ain't even consciously aware of what they're doing. So anyway, or what they're seeing, rather. So anyway, that's all I have for now. As always, you know how I do on this channel. Something to think about. So anyway, peace and blessings.